Top hurlers and footballers were well wrapped up in independent.ie hoodies for the photo call in a cool Croke Park ahead of the draws for the competitions after Christmas. Ulster University will host the Sigerson Cup and they drew the winners of CIT and Garda College. Uh, the draw pretty pretty decent now. Um, Garda College and, and CIT like the guards come off a strong a strong trench cup last year. You know they were very very strong in it. The the one by can't I think nearly in the end. CIT don't really know much about them. I suppose um, it leaves us still probably focusing on ourselves as we have still await the winners of, of them two teams to come out. So we're still probably in the same place as we were this morning and in the fact that we're trying to focus on ourselves and get maybe our own game plan and structure into place before we see actual the outcome of that game and then we can work sort of more to an opposition end of things. Who do you see as the favourites at this early stage? Uh, I'm looking, you can't really look past I suppose the Dublin team, GCD, DCU, uh, Cork, UCC. Uh, UCD come off a strong Ryan Cup there, you know. Um, they beat us up in Jordanstown and then they beat DCU, I think, comfortably enough as well. Like So I think they're going to be looking to be strong favourites at the minute. But again, you can't look past the DCU and UCC either. The independent.ie Fitzgibbon Cup weekend will be at the superb CIT complex and the hosts, who have never won the Fitzgibbon, avoided the heavyweights in a three-team group along with Ulster University and GMIT. I suppose we, when we go up there, like we're going, we have to travel, we have to travel up. Like that won't be easy. I think they won the league this year, so they're after promoting themselves up to Fitzgibbon. Like so, they're obviously coming on a bit of a high. Like so, we're going to have to be aware of that. No, we did avoid the big guns, but like if we win our two games and we top the group, we're going to meet the big guns in the quarter final. I think we're Group C, or we're Group D in the Group C. So I think it is uh, looking at Group uh, C looked very dangerous. So um, we're going to be, we're going to meet the big guns sometime, but. Um, We'll just avoid them to start, maybe just get ourselves settled a small bit into the Fitzgibbon, given get fellas going and get fellas playing. Maybe when it comes to the quarter final, we might have a good team together and we know where we're at. Being from Tipperary, I don't, I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Um, you know, it's, an, it's an honour to play for CIT and it's an honour to play in the Fitzgibbon, you know, so hopefully I might, I might eventually get my hands on, on the Fitzgibbon Cup. Well, if they're going to win it, this is the year to do it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, no better place to win it than, than, in, their home, than in their home pitches, so, so hopefully, hopefully we might do it. I always feel um, today is the day when the, the, there's a great buzz around around the place with the draws for the championship. I suppose the, the leagues are very important in their own way, but the, uh, the JA is really a championship organisation and the colleges love, we get a large attendance at the draws, which you saw here today, and everybody from the smallest college to the largest college is hoping that the draw will favour them and that they will end up be it in CIT or in University of Ulster in February. And Porig Duffy taking part today and he made some very positive comments about third level. I take it you echo that? I echo the, the comments of Porig. Porig has been a member of our Custafimacon committee since um, our AGM in March and he is been a great addition to the committee and he is so positive towards the third level games 